In this video, we're going over the new absolute best settings to use here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 after the recent update. These settings are perfect because they work no matter what controller or console you guys are playing on. There's a lot of new people on the channel. Welcome. And I want to make sure you guys know exactly what to be running in game. If you guys are return subscribers, sit back and relax. So if you guys enjoy, feel free. Drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications. If you were looking to improve your aim, action, and gun skill, y'all came to the right place. All right, as you guys can see here, I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC with one paddle on the back set up for jumping. I absolutely love Xbox Elite controllers. I've been using them for years. They've served me well. And if you guys are deciding to pick one up, I do have the product linked on the channel, actually in this video. So if you guys do use my link, it does support the channel directly, but obviously it's not necessary. What you also want to do here is go to your button layout and I recommend playing on Tactical. Tactical is gonna be the absolute best button layout no matter what controller or what console you guys are playing on you could be using an xbox Elite controller an xbox a ps4 a ps5 it does not matter this is going to remap your crouch and prone button allowing you to perform a drop shot by just pressing down on the right thumbstick instead of having to go to b and then going ahead and trying to adjust with the thumbstick this is going to allow you to be accurate but at the same time nimble and that's going to be very important here in modern warfare 3 where accuracy and movement is key if you are trying to improve your kd ratio and drop your first mgb nuke which i know a lot of you guys are trying to accomplish now what you also want to do here is turn off your controller vibration we don't want to have any type of controller play no unnecessary movements that could potentially throw off your aim and accuracy at longer ranges and that's where i feel a lot of people fall short and the guys who are looking up best settings videos this is probably what you're struggling with long range engagements i got you guys with some settings that are going to work perfectly with the controller vibration turned off now luckily within bottom for three we do have some dead zone assist here depending on your controller health if you have stick drift you can actually go ahead and fine tune these under these settings it's very easy to do if you have a newer controller odds are you don't have a lot of stick play but if your controller is older you might have to go ahead and adjust it for the aiming section we are going to take a look at the horizontal as well as vertical stick sensitivity these are going to be very important because this is going to be allowing you to either be accurate or very inaccurate at longer ranges. I recommend you guys playing within the four to six sensitivity window. This is going to be perfect because you're going to be accurate at longer ranges, but still have the ability to turn on players and still have movement to go ahead and get around the map and engage from gunfight to gunfight because that's what's very important here in Modern for 3 and something that we weren't able to do in previous Call of Duties because the TTK isn't as fast in this game. Now, the common misconception with the sensitivity settings here in Call of Duty is the higher the better. That is not right when you are playing modern warfare 3 you want to make sure that you have a sensitivity setting that is fast enough but at the same time you can still maintain your accuracy at longer ranges anybody can take somebody out at point blank it's the long range gunfights that matter and that's why i'm recommending that four to six window because this is going to be fast enough that you can take people out at close ranges turn on players but laser people across the map now, what you also want to do here is adjust your ADS sensitivity multiplier in multiplayer. This is going to be very important here. Now, if you are playing on a four, I do recommend you having it at 0.75. If you are going to be bumping it up to a six, like how I play, you want to have this at 0.55. This is going to allow you to be laser accurate at longer range. You're going to have less stick play in your controller, but at the same time, if you get into close range engagements, you are 100% going to be able to turn on other players and at the same time be accurate across the map. It's going to be the best of both worlds. Make the switch immediately. Now, what I've also done here is switch my aim assist response curve type to linear. If you are a newer player, dynamic is going to be a good setting. But because I've been playing quality for a while, I want to be able to control how the aim assist is going to work in this game. So linear is going to be direct. So I, that's why I play on linear. But if you are learning on how to abuse the aim assist here in this game, dynamic is also a fantastic 
option now what you also want to do is switch to the black ops aim assist black ops aim assist is going to be phenomenal here in modern warfare 3 allowing you to get an extra bump in the controller aim assist here i know a lot of people are on the fence on if controllers and aim assist are overpowered on call of duty but at the end of the day call of duty is a controller game there's absolutely no shame in using a controller with aim assist black ops is going to give you that additional assist and because we are running number one the higher end of the controller sensitivity spectrum with the linear response curve type black ops is going to make sense and even if you are playing on the dynamic response curve type black ops is still going to be important to run even more important because you're going to get that additional bump allowing you to be a lot more accurate at those medium to longer range and again that's where people i feel are going to be falling short if they are new to call of duty and that's going to be pretty much all we're going to be doing under the aiming category for gameplay here you guys can see here i've not made that many adjustments here the only thing that i actually have done is enable automatic tactical sprint this is going to be very crucial for me personally because i like to move around the map like to stay mobile and it's going to be overall speeding up the gameplay for myself but by all means you don't have to make this adjustment if you do not want to the most important things are going to be allowing you to just become more accurate at longer ranges and that's what the aiming settings tab is going to accomplish here in this video and what you definitely want to go ahead and make sure you are adjusting accordingly again play on that four to six window make sure you guys have it at a 0.75 if you are playing on a four if you are on a six play 0.55 and make sure you guys switch it to either linear or dynamic depending on how seasoned you are in multiplayer and by all means make sure you guys have black ops enabled to get that additional bump in the controller aim assist now under the graphic settings you guys can see we're taking a look at the view tab this is what's going to be very important for the fov i highly recommend you guys playing on at least 100 fov i play on 120 because that's what i'm used to but you don't have to play on 120 at least have it at 100 this is where things are going to get very important if you are not playing on affected switch to affected immediately sometimes the game does load up default with independent make sure you guys have affected enabled because this is going to mirror your iron sight whatever optic you're using at your current fov this is going to allow you to have less visual recoil and if you guys are wondering how streamers have literally no recoil weapons or looks like somebody's using a chronos zen or aimbot it's because they are running on a 100 plus fov with the affected ads field of view allowing you to control the visual recoil a lot easier here at modern for three all of the weapons have greatly reduced visual recoil the modern for two guns still have quite a lot of visual recoil this is going to help those out even more but in this game if you guys are running a modern for three weapon switching from literally a 100 plus fov to affected you're going to see an immediate change and improvement to your gameplay this is something you guys should not sleep on switch it immediately you're gonna break yourself in the long run now what you want to do under the camera settings is please please have world and weapon motion blur turned off these are going to be giving you a very weird and just hazy screen over your gameplay it's going to be very difficult to track players at longer ranges again that's where people are going to be falling short make sure you guys have this disabled these are turned on when you do boot up the game this is going to be another setting like i said previously once you go ahead and disable this you're going to notice an immediate change to your gameplay and that's going to be for the better but again the quality and display settings are all going to be pretty much depending on if you guys are playing on a console or your type of gaming pc obviously because i play on a pc and i make content so my settings are going to be turned down so my settings will be turned up so those settings are really not going to be optimized for the average player now let's take a look at the audio settings they don't call me ears for nothing i do play with an astro a40 tr headset and i highly recommend you guys having the headphone bass boost setting enabled this is going to allow you to hear footsteps gunfire everything 
10 times more clearly and if you couple it with bone conduction headset you're gonna be able to hear everybody in game and it is a game changer this is gonna be a setting like some of the other settings i recommend in this video that you're gonna see an immediate improvement to your gameplay make the switch now obviously all these are gonna be pretty much the same here you best believe i have my game turned up all the way and my voice chat is gonna be at 50 percent because sometimes people come on the mic and they talk crazy they got you know some microwave going on vacuuming screaming i don't want to hear all that in my game now everything else again is gonna be pretty much the same i've not made any of these changes i have pushed to talk because obviously i'm recording content in game i don't want to be bothering people like sometimes you know other people do so that's why i pushed to talk but everything else is gonna be pretty much the same i've not made any changes but make sure you guys are playing with headphones bass boost even if you don't have a headset you have like a surround sound stereo system this is going to be doing the same thing louder footsteps louder gunfire overall improving your gameplay and then finally for the interface settings i have made one change here but it's going to be crucial if you guys have not done it already make sure your mini map is on square round is a horrible horrible idea not only is it harder to read the mini map but you're also getting a smaller mini map and i know for a fact you guys do not want that to happen square is going to be a bigger picture a very easy to read mini map and if you want a video on how you guys can read and interpret the mini map a little bit easier went on the comment section i can make that happen but that's going to be the only setting under the interface tab i have went ahead and changed you guys are going to absolutely love these settings here they're going to be perfect you don't need to go ahead and make any changes except going ahead and adjusting the mini map shape and these are going to be the best settings you guys should be running after the reloaded update if there's one thing you take away from this video make sure you guys are playing in the sensitivity window which is going to be the four to six sensitivity area these are going to be perfect allowing you to turn on players but be accurate at longer ranges if these settings you guys if these settings do help you out let me know down in the comment section and as always drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications in your boy ears and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuces